Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Celeste. Today we are beginning our Halloween transformation series, and I thought we'd start with She-Hulk. Now, I'm sort of going to combine elements from this newer one with the classic She-Hulk look. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. First, of course, remove the glasses. Yes, much better. And now to match She-Hulk a little bit better, we're putting in some green contact lenses. Now these are the Cocktail Mint Green Lenses from Miss Lens. I also have a discount code, just use Celeste Doodles for 20% off your order. Links in description. Also, we need a little lighting change, so change that real quick. And there we go. Now you can see my green eyeballs a lot better. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's get right into it. First, we'll be using this Mayron Paradise Light Green Face Paint. I found this on Amazon for about $9, which I guess is a pretty decent price considering a little bit goes a long way. So it looks just like this, just a little green cake. You can of course use any green face paint you have, but this one worked really well for me. So now we're just going to wet it a bit, be careful not to spill. <laughs> And yes, I'm using a paintbrush because I'm a shameless artist, fight me. Now we're going to load up our brush with some green and apply. I really love how pigmented this was. I quickly learned that you do need to make sure the water has absorbed a little so you can have that richer color you want. Now I also advise that you don't wet it too too much or else your strokes will come out a little thinner. This paint is also quite buildable, which is really nice. So if you have any thinner spots, just go back in and apply some more. Okay, I know I'm looking more like Shrek here, but bear with me. <laughs> I promise it'll come together. Also, while painting your ears, try not to get any paint to trickle into your ear canal. I had a doctor's appointment the following day and she was like, your ears are green inside. So it was pretty funny, but uh, yeah, be careful kids. <laughs> Now we're scanning our face to see if we missed any spots, and it looks like we're all good. So now we can begin highlighting and contouring. I'll be using this pastel eyeshadow palette from Revolution, and using the light green shade for highlight. This is also to set under my eyes a little better too. Now for the contour, we are going to go back in with another Revolution palette, but this time with a darker green. And this one is a fair amount darker than the green of our face, so it was kind of perfect. I should also mention that I'm not the best at contouring, but I did try my best. I like never use it in my daily makeup, but maybe I should start. Now we're slimming down the nose a little bit and also creating the illusion of deeper set eyes, which you'll see in just a bit. We also want to highlight the bridge of the nose to make it look more prominent. For some reason, this little brush did a lot better than the other one I used for highlight, so that's why I'm going over this area again. She-Hulk has some pretty strong features, so we're accentuating the nose, cheekbones, forehead, and chin.
Highlighting around the cupid's bow also makes for plumper looking lips, which is kind of what we want. I'm also going to create a shadow underneath the bottom lip for an even plumper pout effect. With that same dark green, we are now working on the eyes. She-Hulk's makeup in the original comics is pretty straightforward and simple overall, just a smoky dark green look and you're pretty much good. But I did also want to implement a few browns in there as well, as it would better match the eye makeup of the newer She-Hulk. and just blend that out with some more dark green. I'm then going in with a slightly darker brown and sort of lining my lower lash line. This makes for a much smokier look. And now it's time for the eyeliner. I'm using Wet n Wild's Breakup Proof Liner. And for this look, we're not doing anything too crazy. I was definitely tempted to do my usual bat wing technique, but I stuck with a classier and simpler look. So more of a kitten eye style. Now I'm just going in with some mascara. This was some cheap brand I found at Marshalls. It's not the greatest, but apparently it has argan oil in it. Woohoo. After a few coats of the goop, I took a look and was unsatisfied. So I went in with my trusty everyday mascara. This is Maybelline's Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara, and as expected, a definite difference in volume and length. For eyebrows, I'm just going to use this dark brown eyeliner pencil from Wet n Wild. I wish it was just a little darker, but I do eventually powder it off with some black eyeshadow to match my hair. I'm honestly just refilling the hair I covered in green, so I kind of just followed my natural eyebrow shape. But I would say She-Hulk definitely has more of an arch than I do, so if you wanted to go for more of an arch look, then go for it. But I personally just like my eyebrows to look a bit softer. Now we're going in with an angled brush with some of the face paint to clean up around the edges. I did end up adding a very slight angle to my brows here. For lips, this part was pretty experimental. Well, this whole look was honestly experimental. But we're going to just paint our lips green, also don't eat the paint, it's not that tasty. And using the dark green eyeshadow, we are dabbing that onto the lips. I ended up mixing a little bit of black eyeshadow with the green and slowly created a slight gradient starting at the inner lip. And now we're just blending and buffing that out onto the top lip and making it more pronounced, but soft at the same time. This is optional, but I decided to add a little bit of pink as the new She-Hulk has a slightly pinker lip than the OG one. Then I'm going back in with some more green and blending it out. Okay, time for a little bit of blush. This is the Fit Me blush in Peach. The new She-Hulk is a little more human looking and there is a slight flesh tone to her green that I wanted to capture in this look. So we're putting it along the cheekbones and a tiny bit on the nose. 
Alrighty, hair is up next. She-Hulk has a bit of a side part, so I'm kind of tossing my hair over. It's honestly taking me back to how I did my hair in high school. But we're gonna use this hair paint that I got off of Amazon. The texture is very mousse-like and the color isn't super vibrant on my hair. But then again, I didn't really need it to be super green anyway. I kind of just wanted there to be just a slight highlight of green like she hulks. So I'm working that into my hair, making sure not to flatten the volume. And I figured out that you should let the product sit and dry onto your hair for a sec and then comb it through after. This will make the green stay a little better on dark hair. Okay, I think I'm pretty satisfied with how that looks. The hair didn't turn out too too bad, but now I think it's time for a little clothing change. Alright, there you have it my friends. Here she is. I'm actually really happy with how this whole look turned out considering it was my first attempt ever, but I think it turned out awesome. Now I can be a lawyer and a hero at the same time. Yay. <laughs> but hey, leave a comment down below on what you're planning to be for Halloween. Would you try this look? Let me know. I love reading your comments. But that's all I've got for you guys for today. Thanks so much for watching. Like if you like this video, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, I love you. Mwah.